hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to be creating um this design so let's get started so um if you just uh, subscribe to my channel please make sure you do as i'll be dropping more tutorials on design so i have already imported all the images i'm going to be using for this particular design so i want to go to my gallery and to my new design so let's get started so the first thing i'll do let me hide um, these images so i'm going to start with my background okay i'm going to start with my background so i'm just going to scale this up okay, okay so now i'm going to remove the white background so i'll be able to change the color of the black outlines okay so i'm going to change it to um gray okay this is okay so i'm going to reduce the opacity to about 25 percent okay so now i'm going to lock it so the next thing to do is to bring in my model so I'll just bring in my model and it's in here. So I'll lock it. And the next thing, um, let's start with the Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So I'll just drag it somewhere around here. At the top. And check this. Okay. So I'll just put it around the side. Yeah. Okay, now this is okay. So I'm going to lock it too. Then um, let's start with our text now. So the text. I've copied the text already, so let's just paste. Nothing is sweeter than. So the font I used is the MTN, um, the MTN font, the MTN Brighter Sans font. So I'm going to choose a regular, but this nothing is sweeter than. Then I reduce the space in the line spacing between them. So about this, then I'm going to reduce the size. Okay, reduce the size. Increase the line spacing because you can see that the um, the sweet side is already getting into the nothing. So just increase the size a bit. Okay, now this is okay. So change the color to black. Now the next thing is fast payments. Fast payments. So fast. Okay, let me see. Yeah, everything is in capital. So fast payments. So we have fast. Then um, the font is going to be intense sans to anything brighter sound but it's going to be the bold version okay so we have the bold then payments payments okay i'm um, just going to make sure that everything is well aligned okay let me make use of the grid so just take a little bit up this is okay so now i'm just trying to make sure that the two t's they are at the same point okay i don't want them to um, i don't want the fast to be outside and the payment should be kind of inside i want them to be aligned together so i think this is okay so now the next thing is um color so we choose the color for our payments and so i used um a blue color for it let me just use it So the sweater too is going to have a blue color. Yes. So now we are done with that part. Next one is to have the list. Okay. So now we have this list. Then um, change the color to black. Black. Okay. So now next thing, trade now. Trade now. I make it. Let me see. In cap lock. So just um, trade now. Okay, now I'm going to reduce the size. Then, um, so put in the um, shape, the rounded rectangle there. So just put that one in. Give it a little bit of space. Then click on blue. Then change the color to white. Okay. Now, next one is um, the Instagram. Let me quickly reduce the, the round parts. Yes, this is okay. So, now next one is our Instagram. Instagram icon. Okay, so let me reduce the size a bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
So now, Instagram icon, then we put in the name, which is sign 07. This is my Instagram. You can also um, follow me on Instagram so that you can see some other design inspirations because I post most of my um, design on my Instagram and Facebook too at Adequiton Richard. So if you search on Facebook at Adequiton Richard and you should see me there. So you can just check my page for design inspirations. So the next one um, is the gift card. So yeah, this is a gift card. Let's remove the, what the um, photo in the mark. Okay. Yes. Then um, the other blood parts for the gift card. So you can just put this here. Then I'll uh, reduce the opacity. So about 25. 25 is okay. Yes. Yeah, 25 is okay. Then um, I think I put it on now. Okay. Then this one. Okay, this one. Just move this one here. Then reduce the opacity. Okay, so now our design is ready. This is everything. Our design is ready. So now the next thing is to head over to Snapseed so that it can give it more color to or bring out the color in our design. So I'm going to go back to um, Snapseed now to add some more filters or just to add a filter to it. So just um design so you can now choose from the different filters that are in there are some other ways too that you can um, edit your design because it's, um, Snapseed has lots of tools that you can use for your design so you can just scroll through different filters and see the one that you know it's more okay because this is the um, before and this is the after when I use portraits so let's check for this is before this is after so just use the one that will go well with your design and bring out the color let's see for right now I can't use that bright because it's going to spoil the old design and this morning so see these are not um, filters you can use so we just go with the one let's go with portraits okay so let's go with portraits and we save save so that's that's all thank you for watching this um video to the end i hope you have learned something and um, if you've not subscribed please subscribe to my channel so that you can you won't miss um any future videos i'll be dropping and i'll be dropping also dropping tips on how to use pixel lab and graphic design tips also you can also follow me on facebook and instagram so you can miss out on my uh, on my posts and also you get an update on my new videos thank you for watching